Hi everyone, welcome back to Sri Sampath Vinayaka Lanesi channel. Today we will discuss about the examples after exercise 2.1. Okay, Nama? Now see ma. Example 1. Let A 2568, B 5791. Then he is asking us to find A union B ma. We know A union B means we have to write all the elements of A, comma, B together in a set ma. Okay? So, firstly, I am going to write A, comma, B with the operation union mark. Now, I have to write all the elements in a new set. So, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are the elements comes into the union set A union B mark. Now, see, here the 5 repeated twice. But we have to write only once in the set we know. As the property of set, no element is repeated in the set. This is A union B mark. If you ask us to draw the Venn diagram, then what we have to do means, firstly we have to two, take two sets A comma B and then we have to fill the common elements in the common place. Here the common element is only 5. Then after C ma, here in A we have the elements left with 2, 6, 8. In B we left the elements okay, na, 1, 7, 9. So those elements are filled here. A union B means we know all the elements of A and B together we are going to fill. So simply fill the elements and then shade like this. Okay na? This is our A union B. Okay na ma? Clear? Now, example 2 see ma. Let A, A E I O U and B, A I U show that A union B is equal to A E asked. Firstly we will calculate A union B ma. A union B means first I have to write the elements of A, A, E, I, O, U, union B means A, I, U. So, A union B means all the elements are going to be placed in a set number A, E, I, O, U. See, all the elements of this B are there in A. Actually, B is the subset of A. So, here we obtain this is A mark. So, A union B is equal to A we obtain. If you ask us to draw the Venn diagram of this particular one, then we have to write the common elements first. A, I, U. Then what are the elements left? Ma? E, O. So, this one is A union B here. By shading A and B, okay, na, I obtained A. A union B is equal to A ma. Here, simply we have to write A union B it is. Understand ma? Now example 3 ma. If A is set of 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is set of 2, 4, 6, 8 then he is asking us to find A union B ma. A union B means simply we have to write A union B is equals to A is 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, number. So, we know A and B means all the elements of A and B together we are going to write in a new set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Okay. That is our A union B. If you want to draw the Venn diagram, we know firstly we have to fill the common elements in the common place. Here the common elements are 2, comma 4. See, here 2, 4 are common. Then the elements left in A are 1, 3. The elements left in B are 6, 8. Then A union B means we have to join all the elements of A and B no ma. So this is our A union B. Now example 4 ma. Find A in section B when A is the set of 5, 6, 7, 8 and B is the set of 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So A into section B is equal to set of 5, 6, 7, 8 intersection set of 7, 8, 9, 10 ma. Understand? So, intersection means we know only the common elements of both the sets are going to be taken into a new set. In the two sets, 7, 8 are the common elements. So, 7, 8 comes into the intersection set of A and B. So, to draw the Venn diagram, we have to fill the common place first. So, 7, 8 filled in the common place. Then the elements left in A are 5, 6 and in B are 9, 10. A intersection means only the common place is going to be shaded. That's why that is A intersection B. Example 5. If A is the set of 1, 2, 3 and B is the set of 3, 4, 5, then illustrate A intersection B in Venn diagram is asking. 
Okay. See, simply we have to draw the Venn diagram for A intersection B. Ma. So, firstly, write the common elements of both A and B in the common place of the Venn diagram. That is, 3 is going to be in the common place. The elements left in A are 1, 2. And the elements left in B are 4, 5. A intersection B means only we have to share the common place number. That's why it is A intersection B. Okay, na? In this way, we will draw the Venn diagram for the given question. I hope you understand. Now, see my example 6. Let A is the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and B is the set of 4, 5, 6, 7. He is asking us to find A minus B. Okay, na? Meanwhile, we will find B minus A also, ma. Then you can <coughs> get the relation between A minus B and B minus A. Okay? For that, see, ma, I will find A minus B first. A minus B means we know only the elements which belongs to A. Okay. 4, 5, 6, 7. So, see, ma, I have to remove all the common elements of both A and B and then just we have to write the elements which were left in A. Ma. So, see, the common elements are 4, 5. If you want to cancel them, cancel them with a pencil and write only the elements which were left in A. This is A minus B. B minus A means we have to Write only the elements which were left in B ma. Okay. So, just write B and A ma. And remove the common elements from this. Then just write the elements which were left in B. So, this is B minus A. And this is A minus B. Is these two are same? No. A minus B is not equal to B minus A ma. So, coming to one diagram. Just we have to say the elements which are there in A ma. That means we said no A minus B means only A. B minus A means only B. Okay na ma? So that's why A minus B is not equal to B minus A. This is the very important observation ma. Okay. Now example 7 C ma. If A is the set of P Q R and B is the set of Q P R. Then check whether A is, not e A is equal to B or not. That means A is equal to B or A not equal to B. We have to justify. For that, see ma, here clearly all the elements of A are there in B. That is, A is subset to B ma. Is it or not? All the elements of A are there in B. So that is why A is subset R equal to B. Let us suppose it is 1. Similarly, all the elements of B are also there in A. That is, B subset are equal to A. Ma. Let it be 2. From 1 and 2, A is equal to B. From 1 and 2, A is equal to B. Ma. See, here all the elements of A are there in B and all the elements of B are also there in A. That is why A is equal to B. Now see, ma, example 8. If A is set of 1, 2, 3, so on and N is a set of natural numbers, then check whether A and N are equal or not is asking. Simply see, ma, A is the set of 1, 2, 3, so on. We know natural numbers are the set of 1, 2, 3, so on. So, simply as A and N are having same elements, so we will write A subset are equal to N and N subset are equal to A. So, A is equal to N. Coming to that example 9, consider the sets A and B. Are they equal? That's our question. Once check whether this A and B are having same elements or not. See, A is set of PQRS and B is set of 1, 2, 3, 4. It is clear to that, okay, now A and B are not having the same elements. So, that's why we will write A and B are not same. That is not equal. Example 10. Let A be the set of prime numbers smaller than 6 and P be the set of factors of prime factors of 30. Then, check if A and P are equal or not. Firstly, we have to write that statement forms into roster form. See, A is the set of Prime number smaller than 6. It is a statement form. 
we know the prime numbers less than 6 are 2, 3, 5. And set of prime factors of 30. Just prime factorize the 30 and write the prime factors in a set. Now, observe these two sets. Ma. This A and also this P are having the same elements in those two sets. That's why A is equal to P. Ma. See, ma, example 11. Show that the sets A and B are equal where A is X as that X is a letter in the word assassination and B X as that X is a letter in the word station. Firstly, we have to write those set builder forms into roster forms. Ma. Assassination, he gave A, S, I, okay, N, T, C, ma. O. We have to write the different letters of the word assassination. C, A. Here we have many S. So, just we have to write only one S in the set. I. Okay. N. T. O. Okay, now. So, this is the set. A presentation of the word assassination. Now, station. Here just write S. T. A. I. Okay. O. N. So, this is set B. Ma. Just compare A and B. See, ma, in that A and B, we are having same elements. S, S, T, T, A, A, I, I, O, O, N, N. So, that's why A and B are equal. Clearly, A is equal to B. As that A and B are having same elements into the sets. Now, example 12, see, ma. Consider the sets. Empty set. A is set of 1, 3. B is set of 1, 5, 9. C set of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and then he is asking us to insert the symbol subset or does not subset between each of the following pairs of the sets. First see ma, pi is subset to all the sets we know. So that's why pi is subset. Now here see ma, is all the elements of A are there in B? One check. Here we have 1, 3. Is that 1 and 3 are there in B ma? No. 1 is there but 3 is not there. That's why a is does not subset to B. Coming to that third one, A and C. Check all the elements of A are there in C or not. Yes. In that A I have 1, 3 and in that C also I have 1, 3. That's why A is subset to C. Coming to that set B. Is all the elements of B are there in C or not? 1, C. 1, 5, 9. C. That 1, 5, 9 are also there in C. So B is subset to C. Now C. Example 13. State which of the following sets are finite or infinite. Okay. Now, see ma. The first question here is x such that x belongs to n and x minus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Firstly, simplify this one ma. x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. As the product of two numbers is 0 means either of those two is 0. Then x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 2. So, this 1 and 2 are also natural numbers. So, simply 1 comma 2 comes into this set. So, it is finite. Okay, Nama? Now, coming to that second question here, Sima. X says that X belongs to N and X square is equal to 4. So, all this X here, Ma. X is equal to plus or minus root 4. That is equal to plus or minus 2. That is plus 2 or minus 2. But as that X belongs to natural number, we have to write its value only plus 2 ma. So, it is also finite. Okay, coming to that other question, third one. X says that X belongs to N and 2X minus 2 is equal to 0. Simplify this one and find the value of X. Okay, now is equal to 2. Then X is equal to 2 by 2 that is equal to 1. So, X is equal to 1 means that is natural number only. So, into that set, now single term element 1 comes. So, it is a finite set. Okay, now Now, coming to that fourth question. X says that X belongs to natural number and X is a prime. X is a natural number and X is a prime means, see, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, so on. All the prime numbers we have to write. We know prime numbers are infinite, so it is infinite set. 
Okay, now now coming to that fifth question. X says that x is a natural number and x is odd. So odd natural numbers we have to write. So into that one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, so on comes. So it is infinite set. Okay, now now see my example fourteen. If A is the set of one, two, three, four, five, and B is the set of two, four, six, eight, then find number of A in and B. Before going to find number of A in and B, find A in and B, ma. A is one, two, three, four, five. B is two, four, six, eight. Okay, now ma. A union B. I have to write all the elements of A and B together in a New set. Okay, Nama. As we know that, just write all the elements of A and B together. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay, this is our A union B, ma. Okay. Now we want number of A union B. That means the cardinality of A union B. What is the cardinality, ma? How many elements it is having count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So number of A union B is equal to seven. I hope you understand. Thank you for watching ma if you like the video please share the video with your friends